There's another quote in your book that says, effective and dynamic worship is not simply in the ability to reproduce a look or sound. It's the result of a disciplined pursuit of an authentic expression of worship. So help us understand, Tony, because I think some of our viewers today might not even understand what that means or the difference because they've been so used to being fed the product of worship music. Um, And so their experience with worship has more to do with the smoke and the lights and the experience and the feelings and all that. But take us to a deeper place right now and talk about what worship really is and how we really could use a refreshing in, in the sense of what we're doing in our local churches and the expression, what that should look like for each and every church. Brenda, I I love your wording. And first of all, that is very perceptive. That's a good picture of where we are right now. And your word that you used, how do we recalibrate? Mm -hmm. Uh, in In one word, it is the gospel. You know, when we think about the gospel, we usually don't consider that it does speak to, uh, it, it provides a template for not just our worship songs, but also the way we do worship ministry. And, yeah. uh, you know, when we put those glasses on, we put the glasses of the gospel, that's a filter. And as a, you know, we love worship leaders. We love town. Ta- you know, they're such, they're such gifted people. They they're are. So- they are such a crossroads of giftings that are taking place sim- simultaneously. And sometimes it's hard to recognize just exactly how many things that that worship leader has to be attuned to, not the least of yeah. which is just the spirit of God. How is God speaking in the moment? What's the rhema mm. word? What's the word for the hour and how to be sensitive in our worship to move our congregation in that direction? Yeah. But to to answer your question specifically, um, you know, when you stand before a congregation, uh, I I, I really, my heart is for for us to become shepherds, um, Mm -hmm. because you can plan, you can do all the things, you can rehearse, you can do all the things that we need to do. We, We really do need to do those things. But when you turn around and face that congregation and you realize there's hurting people out yeah. here today. Yeah. The, these there are there's someone here today if they don't have an encounter with an almighty God, a God that is greater than any circumstance they may have walked in with. If they don't encounter the reality of who he is, they're at a desperate time. And when we realize that 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 what we have to offer is an opportunity to set up a meeting place between God and that person. Mm. And we need to be, we need to be motivated by that, not just in the service, but as the week in, in preparation for what we're it's going to, to be doing, uh, mm-hmm. get, ask God, give me a sensitivity. What's going to happen this week? Mm-hmm. I just heard the pastor. He told me mm-hmm. what the message is going to be. Now, Lord, how can worship serve this environment? 